Philip Hodson, Barcelona Story by Jim Emerton. Good afternoon, Jim has asked me to fill in a small questionnaire to help get a bit of background to how I clocked a pigeon 849 miles in the big Barcelona race which might at the time of writing be able to receive the Jim Emerton trophy. Well, I now have been retired for about five years and have been keeping pigeons for the first time since April 2019 purchasing stock birds through LMR auctions mainly from the original Etienne Merlin family. This journey was started with a boys outing to Belgium to purchase pigeons for Steve Carroll who took us to several loft visits and then to Lyre Pigeon Market where I was taken back by the amount of people who were involved with pigeons. I asked Steve to explain what the difference is in sprint, middle and long distance races, which he did but followed by saying, but that's not for you, you probably need the extreme distance. The Barcelona race is as far as is possible for me to fly. Well, I didn't know the full enormity of what was involved, but he said it is possible. On return to the UK, I thought that I would like to have a new challenge and said that if I can get a pigeon back from the Barcelona race, then I will walk it back. Don't ask someone to do something that you are not prepared to do yourself. And that's how I got into pigeons for the first time. Having never kept a pigeon, I now started to look on the internet for information and found a book on pigeon racing by Jim Emerton, which is now falling to bits, pages falling out, it's been read that much. Later, I purchased Pigeon Man by Jim and now I am qualifying for one of his trophies. How surreal is that? The start up to locate my loft has been made difficult because the land to the rear of the house is under discussion for compulsory purchase order so I bought a 40 foot box trailer and parked on the land much to the dismay of the enforcement offices when I turned it into a mobile pigeon loft. It's still here but for how long I am not sure. I have had to learn about pigeons quickly with the compulsory purchase order in the back of my mind. So the Barcelona challenge begins with the pigeons from LMR auctions purchased and then joined the local flying club registering the loft ECT. There is so much to getting started for the first time. Two and a half years later I was debating had I been beaten. No more channel racing without a CPH number. Well with a few phone calls to RRPA Richard Chambers who convinced me that it has to be done. It was completed. Thanks again for your help, Richard. But next was the distance to mark your birds Sudbury Middlesex, a 400 mile round trip. But I had a bit of luck traveling in luxury with Alan Wicker in his new car who had previously arranged for me to join the BIC with help of Carol Francis. Thank you again. So that was it. Two and a half years later, all the hard work was done and the birds were on their way. Was all the extra sunflower hearts, Peanuts oats going to be enough while well, I was happy with the birds. The race started Friday morning and I was debating when if anyone was going to time in nobody did. I sat watching the landing board day after day not moving from 5am till 10pm each day. I was convinced that I would get birds back and I wanted to see it but just being there was so consuming that I felt like I had completed a marathon session. I never give up and kept saying I can I will get a bird back just goes to show the power of an affirmation if you want 100% you'll have to give it and on the 14th of July 2022 at 6.56.52 I let my son's young birds out after a few minutes one of his birds landed with a bruised wing as I was looking up another one followed which landed on my landing board I thought it was maybe a young bird of mine in with his. I returned to the loft to see the Barcelona hen looking at her empty bowl then back at me then back at the empty bowl well with tears in my eyes I said out loud, you can have as much as you want, she had completed the St. Philbert Masters race on the 2nd of July timed in the BICC and NFC and then clocked in Barcelona on the 14 July 2022 now that is what I call an extreme distance pigeon bar none. So happy to complete the first part of the challenge with such an accomplished partner. I was still in tears and the phone rang it was Jim Emerton to say I was eligible for one or more of his trophies that felt a bit strange a bit surreal how can that happen was it fate or had I been willing for the bird to return a bit too hard I read every page in his books he needed to know I have been reading his books and how much I had appreciated his thoughts.
So I continued to tell him and he said well that's good to know something good has been accomplished with his written work. So I would like to say a great big thank you to you Jim Emerton. Philip Hodson, long distance marathon man.